Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighborhood English teacher, Mr. Weaver. And due to the illness of my youngest child, I am unable to be with you today. That's okay, though, because we will still review adjectives and adverbs uh, so that we can quiz out on these two parts of speech uh, on Thursday of this week. Remember, we do not have school on Friday. Uh, so uh, we're going to go over adjectives and adverbs. And actually, we're going to start with our adjectives here today. So what exactly is an adjective? Well, this kind of builds on what we talked about with nouns and pronouns, because our adjectives are words that modify a noun or a pronoun. Now, if you remember back to what we had talked about before uh, with nouns and pronouns, you will probably remember in some of the example sentences that there were adjectives that came before some of the nouns, uh, and there are also adjectives that can appear after a linking verb. That's kind of where our verbs come into play here. Uh, we called those adjectives that came after a linking verb a predicate adjective, whereas the adjectives that were sometimes around nouns and pronouns were just uh, kind of regular old adjectives there. Hey, if you remember, I think we had also mentioned that there are a couple of special kinds of adjectives that are worth pointing out. There is, There are the articles... Uh, which uh, consists of three words, a, an, and the. Certainly those are special adjectives because they can uh, point out a particular thing uh, versus uh, pointing out certainly any old thing. Uh, a teacher would be different than the teacher, for instance. If you remember, we also talked a little bit back with pronouns about demonstrative pronouns, and I think I mentioned to you at that time that demonstrative pronouns take the place, certainly, of a noun, but there are demonstrative adjectives as well. It's the same four words, this, that, these, and those. Same four words as the demonstrative pronouns, but remember, now these things are functioning as adjectives. So instead of, this is my teacher, Mr. Weaver, you would use, that would be used certainly as a demonstrative pronoun. If you were to use it as a demonstrative adjective, it would be, this teacher, is Mr. Weaver. This now is modifying teacher, so it's acting as an adjective and uh, modifying the word teacher as opposed to taking the place of teacher in that previous sentence. So let's take a look at a couple examples that use adjectives in some of the ways we just discussed. If you take a look at the sentence that just popped up, the big truck was loud, you'll notice there are three adjectives in this sentence. The is an article that modifies truck Again, it's not a truck, it's the truck. Big also modifies truck, and you'll notice that both of those adjectives do come before the noun truck. But in this particular sentence, you'll notice that we have was as a linking verb, and then we have the, pro excuse me, the adjective loud that's acting as a predicate adjective there, still going back and modifying truck, but it does appear after the linking verb. Essentially, the linking verb is linking the noun truck to the predicate adjective loud in this sentence. Now if you take a look at the second example, that dirt bike was muddy, that now is a demonstrative adjective, not a demonstrative pronoun, because that is modifying that compound noun dirt bike. But you'll notice in this sentence we also have a second predicate adjective, because our linking verb was is linking the noun bike, or excuse me, dirt bike, uh, to the predicate adjective muddy. So this gives you kind of a rundown on adjectives uh, as far as different ways they can be used and certainly a few different subsets of adjectives that actually exist. Now let's move on to adverbs. So if adjectives modify nouns and pronouns, what exactly do adverbs do? Well, if you take a look at adverbs carefully, you'll notice that they modify verbs, which is pretty obvious, adverb, but they can also modify adjectives or other adverbs or, on very rare occasions, entire sentences can actually be modified by adverbs. Now, I know some of you are probably sitting there saying, that's a whole lot of things that adverbs can modify, so how do we identify an adverb? Well, that's a great question. Let's see if we can come up with an answer. When you are attempting to find an adverb, know that adverbs will answer one of the following questions. 
They'll answer how or when. They can also answer where or why. And on rare occasions, they can even answer to what extent. Now, what exactly do I mean by this? Well, take a look at a couple of the example sentences that just popped up. In the first example sentence, the sentence reads, the dog barked loudly. Now ask yourself, how did he bark? Well, the answer would be loudly. And again, loudly is your adverb. If you take a look at the second sentence, someday I will be famous. Notice in this case, the adverb appears at the beginning of the sentence. But if you ask yourself, when will I be famous? The answer would be someday. Someday is functioning as your adverb in that sentence. If you take a look at the third sentence, he drove nearby to the park. Where did he drive? Well, the answer, of course, is nearby. Nearby functions as your adverb in this sentence. In the fourth example, she jealously stared at him. You could ask yourself, why did she stare? Of course, the answer would be because she's jealous. Or you could also answer, or you could ask, how did she stare? The answer, of course, being jealously. Jealously there functions as your adverb. And in the final sentence, he was extremely angry. To what extent was he angry? Oh, extremely. Extremely there would function certainly as your adverb. Now, if you take a look at these different sentences as well, you will notice that they are modifying different things. In the first example, the dog barked loudly. Certainly loudly goes back and modifies the noun barked. Someday, certainly in that case, almost modifies um, that entire sentence. And if you take a look at nearby, for instance, in the third sentence, that kind of goes back and modifies drove, the noun, or excuse me, the verb there. Jealously modifies certainly stared, but if you, which is a verb. But if you take a look at the last sentence, you'll notice that extremely there actually modifies the adjective angry. So certainly you can have adverbs that can modify uh, a number of different uh, parts of speech, including verbs, adjectives, other adverbs, or even in a couple of cases, whole sentences. By the way, you might also have noticed one other interesting thing about adverbs. While not all of them end in ly, a number of them do. If you take a look certainly at the first sentence in loudly, the, th the fourth sentence in jealously, and certainly the fifth sentence with extremely, you'll notice they all end in ly. But you can, of course, have adverbs that don't end in ly, like someday, nearby, uh, very comes to mind, certainly is an adverb that would not end in ly. But again, uh, these adverbs, uh, very important. And now that we have kind of gone over our adjectives and adverbs, I'd like you to take a few minutes, work through uh, an exercise or two that you'll find posted on Schoology with the, uh, below the link to certainly this YouTube video. Take a look at those, uh, and then once you're done, you should be able to move on and work on your senior project presentations for the remainder of the period. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow, and as always, carpe diem.